Join me today to a full walkthrough on board Riva 115 Athena that was launched in 2007. She is now seriously for sale. This beautiful yacht has four cabins for eight guests. She is equipped with powerful 2750 horsepower MTU engines and has two stabilization systems. One includes four zero-speed Mitsubishi gyro units and for additional stability and while making her way on the water she has also track fin stabilizer system. With 23,500 liters of fuel she will cover 680 nautical mile range at a cruising speed of 28 knots. During 2018 she was totally refitted and now offered for sale at a condition that can be described as new. The interior video tour was taken in a protected hangar where the yacht is stored for the winter. It will also include the flybridge, galley, crew area and the engine room. During the interior tour I will combine short clips taken in the last season showing parts of the exterior while the yacht is on the water. For additional information including photos and technical specification, visit our website by clicking the card that appear now on your screen or use the link at the video description below. This channel is about yachts for sale located in Turkey and sold internationally. We visit and inspect every yacht we list for sale. So as I said, we are still in the shipyard. The boat just ended a very big refit. And we are approaching from the back, the river 115. Some of the things are covered to protect them after the refit and new upholstery. There are two stairways, one from here, which is leading to, leading to a TV room, kind of sky lounge, and one from here. We will go, we will start from the interior, then we will see the rest. So the boat is now in something which is very close to as new condition. You can see the flooring here. Furniture are new. All the screens on the windows are controlled with iPad. Same as the TV, which is going up and down, controlled by iPad. The TV can also change angle by 90 degrees from this position. This boat has four cabins. We will soon go and see them all. And though it has, it was meant to for only for eight guests, you see that the dining table can accommodate 10 people easily. So from the left side, starboard side, there is the way to the galley and the crew area. And from there, stairway to the uh, wheelhouse. And from this corridor, we are proceeding to the master cabin. These are the stairs to the lower cabins. And here we have a day head. Moving forward, there's another door here that the crew can go out and bypass the, the crew area. Sorry, the, the guest areas. The wheelhouse, which we will visit a little bit later. And here is the master 
on the main deck. Actually, there is a bigger uh, cabin at the lower deck, a midship full beam. It's a beautiful master cabin. It has a big uh, walk in wardrobe. TV from LG and bathroom, which is a very nice shower with thick floor. Be there, toilet. We will proceed now to see the lower deck guest cabins. Going down on these stairs. <clears throat> now at the fourth side, we have two guest cabins with two double beds. That's the port side with its own end suite. There is one bulb which is burnt now so we are we don't have full light. And shower. And the starboard side guest cabin, beautiful cabin, beautiful woodwork. It also has its um, walk in wardrobe, quite a large one. <clears throat> Place for suitcases. and its bathroom. Identical to the port side, bidet, toilet, sink, and shower. <clears throat> As I said before, if you want to learn more about this boat, you can visit our website by clicking the card that appear on the screen or using the link at the video description below. You will see there are more photos and description of the boat with full specification list. So that's... Uh, that's the VIP cabin, or actually it can be used as the master cabin because this is the largest cabin on the boat. It is full beam amidship. It has three wardrobes, which is quite convenient. One here. Second one is here. And the third one is here, so there is a lot, a lot of storage. I guess every owner will prefer to use this cabin, which is much bigger than all the rest of the cabins. Oh. Makeup table or small office, and a big 
bathroom which contains the bidet, toilet, two sinks and a very big shower. It's actually a shower for two people with sitting place. As you can see the detail, the boat was built in 2007, but she looks totally new. I mean, you can look at all the details on this boat. She feels like unused boat. Also, there is a very pleasant smell here. Some old boats has a little bit of a smell issue. This boat smells like a new boat. Here's a little bit, uh, here's a little uh, storage for suitcases, which is also very clever. So you don't stuff the rooms. Okay, we go up now, we go back up. And we make a quick tour on the decks. Before that. Another view at the amazing salon, very big salon from a little bit different angle. iPad for controlling shades, TV, music system, air conditioning. Short view at the ceiling. The boat is without scratch. Now, we will go upstairs to the flybridge. There are two ways to the flybridge, from port side, which is here, and then from starboard, other side. <coughs> and here we are coming to a small sky lounge which is this one. It's a little bit stuffed with pillows now. And it has big TV here. So it's kind of a TV room. This place is located at the back side of the flybridge. There is, there is a small shower, a small headroom uh, that can be used by the people who use the flybridge in this area and another aft deck so to say of the flybridge life rafts both sides and we are turning now forward and visiting the big flybridge it's really a large flybridge. Again, we are in a shipyard, in a closed hangar. This is where the boat is stored at the moment. You can see the hangar and in order to protect it from dust and all kind of particles the shipyard placed a big nylon uh, sheets uh, to prevent a lot of dust and uh, particles so we have a wet bar here four chairs and helm from the flybridge uh, Faruno chart plotter and autopilot thrusters. There are a bow and aft thrusters here. 
I will tell you more about the technical side of this boat when we will visit the engine room. It's quite interesting. And in the wet bar, we have uh, storage places, ice maker here, and fridge here. Sink. Nice place to to be served from. We will move forward and few stairs down to the wheelhouse, which is very well equipped. The boat was originally built to Rena class. <clears throat> Captain's chair, a small seat for guests, owner. and it's fully equipped VHF a camera screen we see split camera screen a control for the air conditioning throttles engine controllers we have two big MTUs here Fruno chart plotters which can be switched between the radar and the chart plotter um, controllers for uh, up thruster, bow thruster, uh, stabilizers. I will explain more about the stabilizer. There are four uh, gyro stabilizer here. I will show you later. Um, yeah, I will have the full list in the website so you can check uh, in details the instrument. So we'll have a quick look now at the galley and at the crew area. As in all Riva boats, everything is not very large, but very functional. This is the galley. That door leads back to the dining area. So there is a very big fridge here. One side is freezer from Mille. One side is freezer. This one. And this side is a big fridge. Stove. Induction from Ile. Um, baking. Oven. Dishwasher. and storage place for food, deep storage places. And sink. And vent here from Ile to take out all the cooking vapors and smells. Moving forward, on the port side and there is another door here that the crew can use it from the wheelhouse out or from the crew area or from the galley and bypass the salon to make other operations so we are going down now into the crew area actually it's a very nice crew area it's not very big Behind these doors, there are two dryers and two washing machines. I will show them in a second. And a small area, resting area and dining area for the crew. So that's the one dryer, second dryer. a uh, washing machine and another washing machine so it's very functional 
moving forward you now on the right hand side that's the captain's cabin which is a very nice cabin a lot of storage place also hanging storage place and a nice bathroom shower toilet and sink and there are two um, two more crew cabins but first there is a uh, two bathrooms for the crew one here and one here and then I guess the starboard side belongs to the starboard crew cabin which is this one and the port side uh, bathroom belongs to this crew so we have total of uh, four berths for the crew and one captain so the overall uh, crew here is five people we are moving out from the crew area and we'll take a quick tour okay just open this door electrically and I will make a quick tour around the boat <coughs> there is another interesting uh, thing here the boat in general is in amazing condition I mean just I can try to show you the condition of the gel coat and also this uh, wood area which needs a little bit sanding before the season but it's very healthy and thick now here is a here is a huge garage this is the door of it which is open looking back uh, so in this storage a uh, jet ski can be stored this jet ski is not part of the sale but it's a good demonstration Bezenzoni crane which can lift uh, this jet ski and also there is a little bit of uh, extra space here for um, uh, fenders or other deck equipment here we can see the anchor winches Okay, and we are moving now um, on the starboard side backwards. You can see the quality of everything on this boat is like new. We will head now into the engine room. And I'll give you a quick, uh, quick tour in the engine room, and we'll end up at the at the at the beach club. So we are going down. Electrical panels here. Sharp right into the engine room. So what is driving this boat is two 2,500 horsepower MTUs, very powerful engines. Here a little bit on the, the port side and at the back there are two generators uh, from Kohler. Each one of them has uh, 55 kilowatts power. The lower one has 6,000 hours, and the one at the top has about 4,000 hours. That one. There is an emergency exit to the engine room, which leads to the aft deck. Here are the stairs.
ZF gearboxes. Now here's something interesting. The, this boat has four Mitsubishi gyros uh, stabilizers. This is one of them. The other three are located at the beach club at the aft. So what we see there behind this cover is um, the air condition system. There's uh, house battery packs there. Water maker here. Two boilers for hot water, side by side. A little bit at the back was uh, fresh water pumps. A fuel separator here, very big fuel separators. These engines are big engines. They consume a lot of fuel and they need a big separator. So we are moving backwards out of the engine room directly to the beach club. There is a beautiful beach club here, which again is a little bit in a shipyard mode and even see the workers there. Uh, but it's a very big uh, beach club and it's also a garage actually it can store a dinghy on top of it the arrangement for the launching is not installed yet now underneath this big uh, platform there are another three Mitsubishi uh, zero speed stabilizers And here is the here is the beach club. So that's it.